So in the today's topic, nutrition, the mode of acquiring food is called nutrition. First of all, why do living things need their food? That cannot be discussed. What is the need of food? Yeah, for growth. And to repair. And to maintain the body temperature. And for reproduction also. You know, who are growing. And all living things are growing. For that energy need. Energy comes from food. To produce animals also. Food is needed. So what do the food consist? Food consist nutrients. Nutrients. The acquiring of nutrients is called nutrition. This process of acquiring food or nutrients is a different ways. Based on the Way of acquiring food, there are two types of nutrition, autotrophic nutrition and heterotrophic nutrition. Okay, let us see about autotrophic nutrition. Auto means self, trophic means nutrition. That means organisms can synthesize their own food. They do not depend on others. For example, all the green plants and the blue green are blue green algae or cyanobacteria. These organisms can synthesize their own food. Those organisms which can synthesize their own food are called autotrophs. Autotrophs. And their method of nutrition, nutrition is called autotrophic nutrition. Some organisms like animals Plants like fungi cannot prepare their food, they depend on autotrophs. Such organisms are called heterotrophs and the nutrition is called heterotrophic nutrition. Okay, let us see how, how do the autotrophs can synthesize their own food. As I said, autotrophs gives plants in some uh, uh, blue green algae. <coughs> okay, how do the plants can synthesize their food? Let us see. Further, they use some raw materials. Raw material. What are the raw materials plants use uh, to prepare food? Means carbon dioxide, CO2, water. So, sunlight. These are the raw materials. So, plants need energy to prepare food. They get that energy from sunlight. You see this picture? Plants are getting their energy from uh, sunlight. How do they get that energy? How do they trap the sunlight waves? The green plants have a special substance uh, which trap the light. That substance name is chlorophyll. Yeah, that is the pigment. The pigment name is chlorophyll. This chlorophyll is present in a special organelle that is called chloroplast. Uh, this you learn in uh, my class. So by using the uh, light energy, plants convert the simple inorganic material into complex organic material. And from, the, from where does they take this raw material? So they take the carbon dioxide from uh, air, water and minerals from soil. By using these simple materials, they prepare the complex materials. The complex material is also called carbohydrate. The food prepared by plant is called carbohydrate. So 
this process of converting converting the light energy into a chemical energy by using the carbon dioxide and water is called photosynthesis what is the process photosynthesis by using this photosynthesis plants convert the simple inorganic materials like carbon dioxide and water and minerals into complex organic material like carbohydrates what do the plant do this with this carbohydrate means they use this carbohydrates uh, to carry out the life process and all other heterotrophs depend on plants to get this energy that's why plants are called universal food providers without plants no organisms cannot survive because all heterotrophs getting food from plants only that's why they are called universal food providers so this photosynthesis process is not a simple process several steps are there in each step several materials are produced from uh, hundreds of years uh, scientists are doing research on the photosynthesis in that uh, about one scientist you have to see that is cb vanier cb vanier according to the cb vanier for every carbohydrate sorry in the process of production of one molecule of carbohydrate one molecule of oxygen and one molecule of water is produced is said that first of all we did the experiments on photosynthesis on bacteria purple sulfur bacteria this bacteria do not use water to produce food it use hydrogen sulfide h2s that's why the end product in the organism is sulfur not oxygen but later we did the experiments on plants and we observed that in the photosynthesis process oxygen is released here why because plants use the water to produce the food but the cb vanier do not know from where does the oxygen release but later another scientist robert hill robert hill did the experiments and he found that the oxygen produced in photosynthesis comes from water all to them all together the experiments he proposed a final equation on photosynthesis that is co2 plus well this to use the s2 c6 visual process six is to plus six one here this chemical formula is the formula of glucose this upper arrow mark shows the the, the release of this gas so these are the raw materials required for photosynthesis carbon dioxide and water so plants uh, combine these together by using the uh, uv energy or light energy so these three are the end products in photosynthesis so three products are produced in photosynthesis those are glucose water and oxygen this is the glucose glucose is the simple form of carbohydrate later plants convert the glucose into complex carbohydrate and store store in their body the examples for complex form of carbohydrates which come from glucose or starch and the cellulose plants uh, store this starch and cellulose in their uh, leaves for later uses so to carry out the photosynthesis plants need sunlight carbon dioxide water and minerals to know this there are several experiments let us see let us see the experiments so now we are going to discuss about co2 or carbon dioxide 
is required to carry out the photosynthesis. For this experiment, one of the materials required is the potted plant, the transparent bottle, and the chemical solution that is KOH. KOH means potassium hydroxide. You can take you can take the pellets or powder of potassium hydroxide or solution. Anyone you can take. So potted plants, KOH, a transparent glass bottle, and a cork, excreted cork. These are the materials required. So in this experiment, we should not supply the carbon dioxide. Then only we will get the result. So for that. We have to remove the carbon dioxide from the bottle. I will say how to remove the carbon dioxide later. First of all, to start this experiment, we have to remove the starch from the leaves. You know, plants store the starch in the leaves. To do experiment, first we have to remove the starch. How to remove starch? We have to keep this potted plant in a dark place for few days dark place what will happen if you keep the plant in dark place plants get, do not get the light so starch is not formed and already present starch also removed this process of removing starch from the leaves is called a de-starching de-starching and the plant is called de starch plant so now we have to do the experiment with the de-starched plant. Take the de-starched plant and take a transparent bottle and put some KOH solution in the bottle. What the KOH solution do? It absorbs the carbon dioxide which is present in the bottle. And now close this bottle mouth with a cork, a splitted cork. And push half of the leaf into the bottle through the cork. You see, half bottle is inside the part of uh, part of leaf is inside the bottle, and half part is outside the bottle. Now keep this entire setup in sunlight. Why should we keep in sunlight to carry out the photosynthesis? If we keep in dark place, photosynthesis do not occur. Okay. Now, when you keep the plant in sunlight, which part of the leaf receives the light? Both parts, because it is transparent bottle. So, light enters the bottle also. So, which part do not receive the CO2? Outside the bottle or inside the bottle? Yes, because inside the bottle there is no CO2, because KOH absorbed it. So after a few hours, we have to test the leaf whether starch is formed or not. How to do the starch test? To do the starch test, collect this, collect this leaf and boil in the methylated spirit. Methylated spirit. If you boil like that, the chlorophyll present in the leaf is removed. Chlorophyll. If you not remove the chlorophyll, we won't get the result. Because the green color mask the change in the color of the leaf when you add the iodine solution. So to do this task test, the main important thing. Ingredient is iodine. So after boiling the leaf in methylated spirit, add some iodine drops on the entire leaf. Entire leaf. So which part will become bluish color? Inside part. No. Outside the part. Because outside the part has a starch. Because photosynthesis occurs. So that's 
है टॉक्सिक पार्ट टर्म्स ब्लूइश व्हेन वी ऐड द आयोडीन द इनसाइड पार्ट है रिमेंस कलरलेस व्हेन वी ऐड द आयोडीन देयर इज नो चेंज इन द कलर व्हाई बिकॉज़ स्टार्च इज नॉट फॉर्म व्हाई डू व्हाई डू स्टार्च नॉट फॉर्म photosynthesis did not occur due to lack of carbon dioxide okay to test or cross check your experiment you can do this uh, experiment with another leaf also okay you can do the star test with another leaf also so this is uh, the method how to test the uh, star test understand